how's it going allotment freaks a uh, bit of a long time no see again a uh, bit the same story as always life's got in the way a bit had other stuff going on we've just been coming down here keeping it ticking over um yeah i'm just gonna have a bit of a tidy up today i'll take you around now quickly and then we'll see how much we get done i'll take you around again at the end so catch you in a bit parsnips in this bed they're doing well i've not thinned them out though so that might be a bit of an issue uh perpetual spinach it's bolted we'll get that out i've got some beetroot in lower down so if i clear the spinach out and the weeds that should sort that these are lettuce uh these are doing really well i only sort of put them in as a last minute sort of thing but you know they're getting some decent size on them so I might take one of them before because they sort of once they start blowing they all sort of blow at the same time we've had the garlic out we've had the onions out it's all such a mess up this end nothing's in the brassica house just weeds need to get on top of that potatoes i've had half of the charlottes out they weren't very good i've had all of the pentland javelins out they were brilliant uh in the middle we've still got sarpo mirrors to come out they're dying off but we can live with that for a bit and i don't know what size i think i'd only just put this in the last time i did a video but this is the squash arch and it's going really well let's say we've got plenty of fruit coming through up this end i have to get right down the bottom to remember what's where but there's quite a bit going on pumpkins coming in down the bottom they're starting to put some growth on a good side up more squash this side these ones aren't vining up very well but we've got bits of fruit coming through on them look at the size of them already that was um that's uchi, uchi curry i can't pronounce it very well look at the size of them it's huge strawberries have done the thing a couple of sunflowers either end these pumpkins here have we got any fruit on them yet not that i can see on that side so we'll have a good tidy up there sweet corn that's getting some nice size on it well, it's just starting there to put its tassels out so hopefully we'll start seeing some cobs on that soon and then yeah in the greenhouse it looks a bit of a mess but we are actually on top of it in here it's one of the things i've been so i need to do a bit of tomato maintenance take the take the runners off and that but we're starting to show fruit that size that one that was the self-seeded one i'm not sure what variety that is so we'll see if we're getting some nice tomatoes off that if we do we might keep some seed off that one and then on the cherry baby at the end we're just starting to get a couple to turn color now this right this self-seeded as well looking at the size of the vine i'm going to say it's a cucumber which i'm glad because the ones i put in didn't survive so hopefully I can get this to train up this string and we'll come along the top. But we'll wait and see. So yeah. Oh, and then the peppers and the chilies. Peppers, the California wonders are just starting to put fruit on. And then the chilies. Actually, that one's starting to turn red already. Another green one popping in there. This little one's putting some fruit on. That one's not. This one's starting to put some fruit on. Couple more peppers on the California wonders. So yeah, like I said, I'm gonna have a tidy up. See how much we get done. I'm only stopping for half a day today. Um, it's supposed to rain later. Well, it said, it said from 10 o'clock onwards, there's like an 80% chance of rain when I checked the other day. Um, so yeah, I've come up early. Where's he gone? Otis is with us today. Otis? He's with us today, he's having a good sniff about. I think it's his, It's only his second visit down here. Um, you shouldn't have favourites, but he's not my favourite. We, we have the three dogs, um, and Otis is my least favourite, to be quite honest. So, usually he's more, of the, he's more of the wife's dog, but I've brought him with me today, let him have a sniff around and a good route about. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to get on with things, and I'll give you a little update later. Oh, hang on, look at these on the blackberries these are just starting to say there's loads of fruit popping up all over and they're just starting to turn 
black as well, which is nice. Raspberries are starting, are about done with. We might still get a few off it. Let me say, there's one. Oh, there, they're nice and soft. There's one down there. There's a couple there. So, yeah, I'm going to have a good tidy up. Oh, I'm going to crack on with tidying up. I think I'll start outside first. Do outside for a couple of hours, for an hour or so. And then if it does start raining, we can get in the greenhouse in a bit and just have a tidy up in there before we go home. So, yeah, so uh, I'll catch us all in a bit. So that's about 20 minutes into it. And that's that bed tidied up, that one tidied up, and round the bottom of the sweet corn tidied up. There's still a bit intertwined within the sweet corn. It's only mare's tail. So, yeah, that's them. Let's move on to this one. And then that's them two, two rows done. Had another half hour to pick through all. So with my leaks, terrible, absolutely terrible as you can see it. I'm fairly certain, if you're looking at them, I'm fairly certain this is Allium Leaf Miner. So next year, if I want to grow leeks, it's going to have to be Enviromesh for them. But uh, I'm fairly certain that's what it is. I'm fairly certain I had it last year. I brought them down the other end. Of the, I did them up the other end of the allotment last year. So I've brought them right down the other end. It's still got them. But, um, but I know Bob next door, he... He left some in and they were huge, absolutely huge, and they looked brilliant. For some reason, didn't get affected by it. But, uh, mine are taking an absolute bat rim with it. So, uh, yeah, they're all a write off, which isn't great. But, uh, yeah, what are you going to do? We'll have a learn. Say so we'll try for um, Environ Mesh next year if we want to grow leeks next year. So, uh, yeah. And then just to show you how much material we've took out, so all that pile there is two of them yellow buckets full. That's all stuff I don't want to put in the compost. There's mare's tail, a bit of bime weed, and some other weeds. Whereas the compost, I've put a bit of comfrey in it, and some a few other bits, like bits of spinach and that that had gone over. But, um, yeah, I don't mind that being in there. That's that bed and the bed over there done as well. I've got that barrel full. I've put there was a bit of bime weed coming through, so I've put the bime weed in the barrel. A few other bits as well. It's got a bit of mare's tail again. And the pile next to it, we'll leave that to dry out for a week or so and then burn it off once it's dried. So yes, I feel like I've made some pretty decent progress there this morning. As you can see behind me, I've still got all that to do. But I want to get inside the greenhouse done now uh, but that is the whole bottom half and to be fair it's the only real half that we're growing on this year um, I think I might get some cardboard and cover the top end up uh, I say we've had a lot going on this year so the allotment isn't at its fullest potential but um, yeah this bottom half's looking productive so if you can see behind me there it looks a whole lot neater now the strawberries there are a bit of a mess, but they're putting runners out everywhere. I'm going to let them put them out. And then maybe back end of August, September, pot the runners up and we'll have new strawberry crops for next year. So yeah, I'm just going to get in the greenhouse now, get all in there done. And um, we'll see what time it is when we finish that. So catch us in a bit. So, as you can see behind me, I've took uh, one of them yellow buckets full of trimmings off the tomato plants of runners and a lot of the bottom foliage, try and increase the airflow through. Yeah. So these, some of these are brilliant. Hopefully they start ripening up soon. It's just starting to go a bit soft now, that one. So hopefully that'll start turning red. Um, but yeah, looks a lot better. We've cleared a lot of the mare's tail out. There's still a bit in here. But it's it's one of them with mare's tail, isn't it? Just keep at it. But um, we're not letting it get us down. We're getting on. Um, no, made up with the progress I've had in here today, actually. And I absolutely flew through it. i have just give it all a real good feed with a comfrey fertiliser, comfrey tea that we made. 
Uh, I'm feeding about, I'm doing about two litres of it every other week. So yeah, milk bottle, the two litre milk bottle full of it, about every other week. And just giving in here, where I get to it. So yeah, so through two litres, I'll, I'll make a couple of watering cans up out of it. All the tomato plants get done with it. All the chilies and peppers get done with it. And then I give the squash and the pumpkins a go with it as well. I've not been doing the sweet corn with it. But actually, I think I've done the sweet corn once with it. But um, it's it's getting on great without it. So we'll leave that going. Uh, maybe when it starts putting fruit on, putting cobs on, we might start giving it a bit of a go there. But uh, no, really happy with an air now today. Uh, no, so I'll just, take, I'll just take you around quick one last time the beds are looking a lot cleaner down this end i've cleared a bit of the comfrey out i don't know if a fox or a cat's been through it but it was all a lot of it was tipped over it's not been that windy and it's quite sheltered where it is there so ripped it out chucked it in the compost squash tunnel is all weeded and looking belting you say nice few fruits starting to come through uh may a tip for next year what i'm going to do is i'm going to stagger it and do Put, put that side in a couple of weeks before that side because as you say this side's romping on and that side's left a bit in the shade so but like I say this side this is starting to put some fruit on uh, what variety is that that shouldn't be in there let's get rid of that what variety is there that's Queensland blue that this one so I think these first four down this side are Queensland blue they're just starting that's another pumpkin just coming through Hopefully that one keeps but no made up with these uh these last few here are turks turban i don't oh just got one starting to come through there but they went in so the last four there went in a good couple of weeks later than the rest of them because i forgot to sew them but uh that one, one we'll sort and this one here we'll sort that up and out over the top in a bit sweet corn it's looking great you come down this side it's like being in a rainforest with it it's looking real good uh like i said before it's just starting to put tassels out is that going to be a cob that'll form there? Hopefully. Lettuce is doing great. Hopefully this beetroot picks up. It's multi-sown, so it'll come through smaller until we start picking it. That's spinach, it's probably done with, but I've just left it in to keep some in the bed. What's left of the peas down this side? Terrible this year, but I didn't... So how I did it last year, I grew beans in this side and peas in that side. Because I had the, because I put the onions and the garlic in these, come no, when was that? October, November time. I didn't manure it, so all the other beds had a real good go of cow manure. So that needs uh, manuring for next year, definitely. Um, but yeah, we'll take that as it comes. I've in the brassica house. I've cheated a bit and I've just covered it over. Cover it over, and I might. I might look at overwintering some if I put some cabbage and some broccoli and cauliflower in, see if we can overwinter it. Maybe that'll stop. Maybe that's the key to getting better cauliflowers because mine last year were terrible. They were about the size of a golf ball. They were shocking. Potatoes, need to have a good go through that. Gonna get some ground cover for there for where that's going. Might just put cardboard down on top of it. They still want a bit longer and there is, believe it or not, there is some charlottes in under that. I've only took half the row, but they weren't as good as the um, Pentland Javelins. Uh, fruit, yeah, we had a look at the fruit before. This apple tree up here, this, made up with this, look at all the fruit that's on this. In fact, I don't know whether it might be worth taking a few off it because it's getting a little lopsided. But... Uh, no, that was just a twig last year, and this year it's flew into life. That one next to it, that's a pear tree. So this is, it went in at the same time as that. They've been in about 18 months now. And let's say we've just got this little rascal on top of this one, but hopefully next year that'll fly into life like that. And yeah, obviously the greenhouse. I don't know if I've shown you, but we painted the shed. We gave the shed a coat of paint. It really needed it. Uh, and it looks 10 times better for it. I might get some like some nice timber edge just to finish that bit off. So that bit of timber you can see there is on the inside. That's on the inside of the window. I might just get a bit of trim for across there and just paint it up. Make it all looking nice. Hopefully we'll get a few more years out of that. And then in a couple of years, we're going to have a big project to make a nice, more of a cabin than a shed sort of thing. Like, I don't know. Otis looks like he's had a good day. 
he's just been following me around to be fair being my little shadow i know when i bring bruce down bruce just legs it up and down like a nutter for the whole time we're here but otis just followed me around sniffing along so uh yeah so yeah so anyway guys it looks like it might start to rain anytime soon it's gone really cloudy but we've had a good crack at it we've got loads done i'm really happy with the progress that i've made uh i'm just gonna chill out here until it starts raining uh it's i think it's about 11 o'clock now i said i was gonna stop till about 12 so i'm gonna chill out for a little bit uh see if anyone turns up we might have a chat when they get here but yeah i'm just gonna chill out and enjoy being here for a little bit now and i can just yeah just just relax in in what we've done i know at this time of year it real really sort of starts to become a chore keeping on top of the weeding and everything but uh so it's nice to be able to just come down and just chill out for a bit and just take in and luckily i decided to plant this <laughs> this end of the allotment up so i can sit here in front of the shed and look at a nice tidy end of the allotment so uh yeah guys i'm gonna yeah like i said i'm gonna chill out for a bit have a drink really do we're getting a bench for here it's a little table and chairs or a little bench or summit but hey we'll make do just sat on the floor here leaning against the shed otis is chewing his leg what if you just walk through he's covered in all sorts he's got all sorts stuck to him so now uh yeah i'll take it that'll be it for today guys so uh take it easy i'll try and get back up to date with the uploads and keep them coming but uh yeah, until next time. See you later. Thanks for watching.